Maps are important and security cameras and critical witnesses, all that's invaluable. But to really understand the last known wanderings of a college student who hasn't been seen or heard from in 11 days, you have to be there. And my colleague, Evan Lambert, is. He's live in Nashville tonight. He spent part of the day retracing Riley Strain's steps. Evan, I'm so glad you're doing this because even with the maps, I get confused. Can you walk me through uh, Riley's path? Yeah, Ashley, with those several data points on the map, it is confusing, especially if you don't know the area. And so we did spend a good part of the day walking around. And what I can tell you from the area here by the river where we are, where Riley Strain was last seen, to really where this story starts at the first bar that he was asked to leave. It's really only about a 15 minute or so walk if you're walking directly. Of course, we don't know the exact route he took because we have little pieces on surveillance video, but it is not terribly far away. But we took a look at all of those points a little bit earlier. Check it out. 935 on the night Riley strain goes missing according to Luke Bryan's bar here on the corner of Broadway and third he was asked to leave after being served one alcoholic drink and two waters then 11 minutes later a surveillance camera at downtown smoke shop catches strain running and then falling near a pole in the parking lot he gets up and continues out of the frame. A minute later, another camera catches him cross First Avenue North to Gay Street. At this point, he's less than half a mile from Broadway. And finally, our last pictures of Strain are here. Body camera video catches him interacting with a Metro Nashville police officer and appearing to be fine. How you doing, sir? I'm good. How are you? Good. This is just across from the Cumberland River. And take a look at how steep this is in this area. It's basically a cliff, some 30, 40 feet down to the water's edge. This whole area is covered with litter, debris, trash, homeless encampments. This is where TikTokers say they found Strain's debit card. It is nowhere near, about a half mile away from his hotel, which is off in that direction. Nowhere near where he's seen walking and his last cell phone pings are. And so it's very clear, Ashley, where the last pictures and the last cell phone pings are. Uh, Riley was not anywhere in the direction of the hotel that his friends thought he was going to make it to. Ashley? Okay, uh, Evan, I have this one question for you. In that last part of your stand-up, you're standing under the, a bridge, right? And that's typically where a lot of people would congregate because there's shelter. So there's a lot of homeless people who use, uh, you know, uh, areas under bridges. Was it a walkway, though? Like, I was I was struggling to find out, would, would Riley have ended up walking under that bridge, or would he have had to decide to leave a walkway, scramble down to some people down there to have a chat? Like, how would he have ended up in that spot if he was? Yeah, so... So, so where we are, there is a, a sidewalk that goes around and there's a balustrade and then essentially a cliff, uh, as I, I showed before, 30, 40 feet down to the riverbank. Now, there are a couple other areas of land uh, a little bit over that uh, guardrail. So maybe 15 feet down, there's some land and then you can walk further, further down. But it's not designed really for people to go down there. Uh, but, but some people do. And that's where some of the people that are experiencing homelessness, that's where their encampments are in, in those woods just over the guardrail. So you would have to be very intentional or just, you know, really not having coordination at all, you know, inebriated to the point where, you know, you might be sitting up and potentially fall and then possibly, you know, roll down even further. But it is a, a really a dramatic. When I got here, I didn't understand, you know, just how far it is from where we are standing, where Riley was walking in that body camera video to the river embankment all the way down. Uh, and it's almost like you'd really have to try. But but there is a, a way that if you were so uh, inebriated that, you know, we, we saw him falling, it is possible that he fell and, and continued to, to go down that direction. Under the bridge, uh, there is another bridge that, that he would have potentially crossed underneath uh, after, after that video, uh, but that's just along this sidewalk right here. Uh, so you're not, no stairs okay. or anything to get down there. It's, it's mysterious, I mean, just perplexing. Um, Evan Lambert, thank you for that. I just wanna let our, our audience know, it's 20 minutes, like less than 20 minutes from the moment he left that bar to where his cell phone, you know, went out. He disappeared in less than 20 minutes. If you have information about Riley's disappearance, I'll say it again. 
uh, call the Metro Nashville Police Department, 615-862-8600. But then I'm going to give you a backup because that doesn't seem to be working for a lot of people who are uh, calling with tips. Right there, Banfield Tips at NewsNationNow.com. Drop us a line, Banfield Tips at NewsNationNow.com. Call the police first um, at that number I gave you, 615-862-8600. But then back it up and, and let us know. And we will, once again, do our best to put the pressure on the Nashville police to call people back. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.